Hey guys, what's up? Uh, welcome back to another tutorial. Uh, I'm going to be showing you how to add a mod menu to your real type fan game. So first of all, go to my Discord and get the script called platforms. Okay, I'm gonna, one second. Alright, so you want this platform manager right here. Uh, and so basically, we're going to be using this script to be your mod menu. So first of all, have just make a cube or whatever you want it to be and just grab and whip it over here you can like make it so it's not seeable and not a glider but then add your platform manager to it and you can see here uh you have left and right so you want to decide what side your platforms are going to be on not your platforms what side your mod menu is going to be on so if i go over to where i spawn and go to my gorilla rig go under grill player and i'm going to do my left hand and uh i'm just going to create so here's how i usually do it. i just go like this oh god i'm in blender mode right now bro oh yeah, yeah, yeah. i'm saying move around you need to stupid all right, so you can see the collider right here. I'm just gonna make a new cube and move it up. Oh my God, bro, stop moving like I'm in blender. Okay, and I am just going to shape it like a mod menu, you know? Just make it a square mod menu. I don't know. All right, uh, and then Bring, name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna go mod menu like this and delete this. Then go back to your gorilla rig and put it under whatever hand you want it to be on. So, if I get my mod menu and put it under my left hand controller, that's what hand it's gonna be on. And then go back to your left hand controller, and you can see my mod menu is not connected to my left hand controller. So, I have to go and do that. Just like that. And you want it to be inside like that. And then scale it down, obviously. It's too big. Like that. And then uh, this like board part right here. Uh, so this you don't want the box collider to be on it so just shut it off like that and turn off gadgets or whatever you call them all right so this is going to be your mod menu so everything in every button that you add is going to go under this mod menu object so say i do 3d object so this is going to be a button and it's going to give you like kick stick so if i go here obviously actually i'm just gonna make it easier on myself and just pull this up like this scale it down like this scale it down like this all right so this is my first button i'm going to obviously turn the collider back on and make sure that it is a trigger and when i say this is going to give me kick stick so I'm just going to make it seeable. There we go. Alright, so this is going to be my kick stick. I'm going to add a script to it. And it's going to be change hand left hand cosmetic. And uh the name of my kick stick is just stick. So that will obviously turn on the stick, but to make it so it turns off stick, it, you would have to go like this. So first you scale it down like this, about halfway, and move it to the side. Copy and paste it. Make sure this one's red. And then just delete the stick like that. So then now these buttons would give you stick and turn off stick. Make sure that they're underneath your mod menu like this. And then, so not every single person has it in the entire game, you shut it off like that. Then. Uh, 
now to make sure that no one actually has like uh, your cube that has your platform manager on it that will allow you to turn on your thing you can name this uh, mod menu manager like that and you take your mod menu manager and if you do the same thing that I do is basically I make one empty object and I put all of my stuff that goes to mods underneath that object so basically the mod menu manager will go underneath that object and you allow that object on your play fab so only your mods have it and that's how you make a mod menu for your girl type fan game i hope you enjoyed thank you and bye bye